Now's one of those times. Pays to be the strong, silent type. This is Halo 3 ODST, which stands for Orbital Drop Shock Trooper, so they say. We know what it really stands for. Older dogs sip tea. They do. They don't even need thumbs. They just grab it with their paws and use their nose to balance the teacup. It's very cute. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect from this game because the title confused me. I wondered why they didn't just call it Halo 4. Halo 3 and a half. Anything. ODST. I'm not really into the whole Halo mythology, I don't read the books. I've always enjoyed the video games because they're tremendous first-person shooters. Although I think the storyline and the main characters are wildly overrated. Halo 3 ODST may not have what I consider an amazing story, but they do an incredible job telling the story. And combined with the gameplay that you'd expect from a top-notch Halo shooter, this game kicks ass. Gameplay in ODST is very similar to Halo 3, in fact it's pretty much identical, but stylistically the environment and the entire feel of the game is very different. I have to comment on the music because they've taken some chances with the music in the game. At times you're listening to what, what seems like smooth jazz and piano, but it works really well. It's very well produced. I applaud the designers and the musical team for doing something different that you would not expect to hear in a high-profile big-budget shooter like this. As you're wandering through the nearly desolated environment in wrecked city, the unsettling, softer music seems to fit the game very well, and then it continues playing right as you get into a massive firefight. When you hear the piano and look across the neon-bathed, drizzling future cityscape, it's hard not to think of Blade Runner. But if you can't be inspired by Blade Runner, what can you be inspired by? How about Predator? One of the main characters is named Dutch. I'm hoping that's a Predator reference. The method of storytelling that we see in this game is something that has been used before in cinema for years, where the story is told through a variety of different characters and their perspectives in a series of flashbacks, which eventually combine to form the ending of the story. The movie that immediately jumps out at me is the 1950s film Rashomon from Akira Kurosawa, which used the exact same technique. Rashomon does not have giant monsters shooting laser beams at you. But wait, there's more. In fact, the main character in the game, the Rookie, is a lesser character witnessing larger events. Another technique used in Kurosawa was the Hidden Fortress later adopted by Star Wars. However, you don't buy this game to listen to music or talk about film theory. You buy this game to blow things up without mercy, splattering your enemies all over the place. Last bag. Grenade! <laughs> <laughs> this day ain't turning out so bad after all. You see that I've adapted my Forza and Gran Turismo driving style to Halo 3 ODST. I tend to cause more damage in the actual driving games though.
seriously, how cool is the environment in this game? They've done such a nice job. I have much more to talk about and some more gameplay to show. This is a three-part review. Officer Bradley, control in part two, I'll be talking about some more details in the gameplay, and then part three, I will cover the multiplayer. You get an entire second disc just for multiplayer in this game. Therefore, I will see you back here in part two of the Halo 3 ODST review from Classic Game Room. Trying to kill bad guys here! Over here!